Microsoft Word 2013 sneak peek. Let's take a little introductory look at what Microsoft Word looks like in 2013. Here we are in our Windows 8 operating system environment. We loaded on one of our testing computers here. So we're going to scroll over and take a look at where this is. Here's our 2013 Word. We'll open that up. And it takes us right to our introduction screen here. Now you'll notice on the left hand side we have a list of recent documents that we have. It's not to say that these are being pulled from a list of recently opened documents. What this actually is, is a list of documents that I have in my SkyDrive. SkyDrive is space that's available through my Hotmail account and it's all part of cloud computing. The advantage of having Microsoft Word linked to my Hotmail account means that I have access to these documents anywhere I go as long as I have internet access. So it's replacing using a flash drive. So if we come over here and we click on our tour, let's take a look at what this program looks like now. Okay, at first glance we can see that everything's cleaned up. There are no distracting colors or themes or what have you. It's very clean and crisp allowing us to focus on our work at hand itself and that was the goal behind the design of this from the Microsoft programmers. So if we come, I'm going to scroll out just a little bit so I can I zoomed out just a little bit so I can see each page on a, on my screen here in my work area. So it tells me right here, welcome to Word, five tips, simpler way to work. So if I come over to my navigation pane here and click on use live layout and alignment guides, so what this is telling us here is that our layout for an image now is live so I can get a live preview as I move my picture around so if I click this and I move it up and around I can see what my document will look like in relation to the location of my picture that's pretty handy so if I drop it here I get my live layouts option available to me so if I click this I can choose any one of these and again it'll give me a preview in the background. Top and bottom, in front, and so on. I'll go back to type. So that's a useful feature. Let's scroll down a little bit. Collaborate in a simple markup view. So this gives us the option of collaborating with others when comments are made within a document. So it tells us the new simple markup revision view presents a clean, uncomplicated view of your document. But you still see markers where changes and comments have been made. Click on the vertical bar on the left side of the text to see the changes. Or click the comment icon on the right to check out comments about the text. So here's our vertical line. So that tells us, this little guy here tells us that there's something in this sentence that's been commented on. Or we can click the comment over here. So if I click this, it's going to show me the comment that's been made. Now, if I like, I can come up and click this little button right here. It's a reply button. So if I click this, now it gives me an option to enter a reply, such as this is great, or I agree. And in doing so, it keeps my comments, it keeps the chain of comments, all relative to the original comment. Keeps them organized. Okay, that's a useful feature. If I scroll down, let's take a look at this. Insert online pictures and videos. All right, so now I can insert a video into my Word document because more and more often Word documents are being viewed strictly on the computer. As our society evolves, we're becoming more and more paperless. So that's, that's why we're given this ability. And in doing so, linking our videos to our Word document, it keeps our Word document at a small file size also. So let's take a look at what this looks like. If we go to our Insert tab, and then it tells us here, Insert tab, Online Video. Well, it omitted, it forgot to tell us what the name of the group is. So insert tab, and we come down to the media group here, and then click online video. From here, it gives us a list of options to choose from. I recently added YouTube because it was one of the options that we can add. So I'll click inside here, 
and I'll paste a YouTube share link and I'll press enter there it is so I can click this and it'll give me the option to insert it and now there's the video pretty great okay let's scroll down a little bit more here we have enjoy the read this is all about the read mode well if we come down to our view options down here we have read mode to the left we have print layout that's the view we're in now and then we have the web layout so if we click read mode it'll take us to this view where we still have the navigation pane open we could always close it if we wanted to otherwise it strips away everything around the word document itself and gives you minimal tools to work with Here. and then if I want to start reading in this view I can just kinda scroll use the arrows here to scroll through each page and so on so this makes it a bit like a book like a digital book so this is useful in order to get back to my print layout view I'm just gonna come down to my views here and click print layout and here we are so the fifth and last tip here is edit PDF contents in Word okay that sounds useful there are many times when we'll receive a PDF from a colleague or what have you and we want to open it up and make some changes for ourselves. If that's the case, we're going to come over to our file tab and we're going to open a PDF that we that I have saved already to my desktop. So I'm going to open this up. And Microsoft Word tells us right now Word will now convert the PDF to an editable Word document. This may take a while. The resulting Word document will be optimized to allow you to edit the text. So it might not look exactly like the original PDF, especially if the original file contains lots of graphics. So we'll keep that in mind. If the PDF we're opening, opening has a lot of pictures and stuff in it, it will look different. So we'll click OK. It converts it, and this is what we end up with. Pretty nice. So now I can work with the PDF file itself inside of Word as opposed to traditionally going to the PDF, selecting some text, copying it if it's available because if you've ever done this before you know that there are times when the PDF is locked down, it's password protected and it doesn't allow you to copy text. So that's a great feature too. Well that concludes our introduction here. I hope this was helpful and in coming videos I'll be opening up Microsoft Word 2013 and performing some lesson plans and small exercises so that we get a little more familiar with this this environment. Remember 2013 Office is designed for online computing, cloud-based computing, full collaboration with colleagues and clients and an overall better product. It makes you considerably more productive. Thanks for joining me. I hope this was helpful and if you didn't know well, now you know, and I encourage you to share this knowledge with as many people as you can. Thank you, and take care.